got one. Really? Got him. Yeah, that's this the it? one. Yeah, that's the one. Woo! <laughs> Wow, this place is unbelievable. Welcome to the Amazon. So Lena, what signs are we looking for to try to spot one of these rare amphibians? So harlequin toads do live in the forest, but because we're at the end of the reproductive season, most likely we will see them by the creeks where they are reproducing. All right, Lena, is this a good spot? Yeah, let's look under the leaves here by the streams, but also look on top of the leaves up there. All right. While we did stumble upon other bizarre inhabitants, I started to lose hope of a successful outcome. But then, almost on cue, the rain subsided, the sun came out, and out of the corner of my eye, I caught a flash of color. Oh, I think I got one. Really? Yep. Really? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Slow. Got him. That's the it? one. Yeah, that's the one. You see that yellow coloration? That's oh, yeah. probably a female. What oh, a beauty. Man. Yes. Good job. Woo. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe we finally found one. Here, let's set up right here. We got our gloves out. So we want to make sure handling these, we wear gloves, right? Right, because remember the disease, the fungus? We want to be sure we're not transmitting any diseases. It's mainly to protect them. Beautiful. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? This is the toad we were looking for, right, Lena? Yeah, this is the toad that we think might have an answer to this epidemic that is affecting harlequin toads. This harlequin toad, this is a brand new species. Yes, this is a species that will be described for science. Wow. And if you look, the belly is a little bit brighter coloration, and that's how you know it's a female. And you can see the hands and the feet, they have a red, beautiful, bright coloration. And that's why we call them the jewels, because they are decorating the forest and creeks of South America and Central America. Do you mind if I... No, go for it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I love how charismatic these toads are. They have so much personality, just like the way they walk. They're so elegant and... They're so proud, the way they stand up on their haunches. And people tend to think that toads are ugly and big, and but look at these. How many species, known species, of harlequin toad exist? So known species, there's described 98, but we think there's gonna be around 120 that need to be described like this one. So that name, Jewel of the Rainforest, it, it doesn't just represent the beautiful coloration of these toads, it's the rarity. These are extremely rare amphibians. I mean, guys, we've been walking and hiking in this jungle all day long, and we've only seen one. <laughs> and you only found them in very, very small places. They're unique and jewels, they're rare. This environment that we're in now, the fact that we found a toad here means that this is a very pristine environment. This water is, is almost drinkable. Right. So. Harlequin toads are an indicator of water quality. So if you see a harlequin toad in a place like this, it's because most likely this is healthy water. There's a, a fairly high likelihood that we are some of the few people that have actually made contact with this species. Absolutely, you're a lucky man. And as you <laughs> could see, we had to walk a lot to see it. So it's not a common animal. The majority of harlequin toad species are endangered. Uh -huh. They're endangered and they're endemic, which means that they're only found in one place. This species of harlequin toad only resides in the inverse islands of Latin America. Mm -hmm. If this disappears from this place, we won't have them anywhere else in the world. So that makes them even more threatened. These harlequin toads are disappearing at an increasing rate. Yeah, and, and I hope it's not the case, but we might come in a year and we might not see it again. So it's very important and timely that we're here today in the rainforest and we found a toad to bring back to Jumbatsu because this particular harlequin toad might just hold the secret to the entire species for saving them from this fungus. If we unlock the secret of why they're surviving, we can use that information to save the rest. So there's a high likelihood that this harlequin toad that we've found actually does have the fungus right now. Yep. How is it possible 
that this harlequin toad is surviving with the fungus? Well, the first thing that we need to know is to be sure that it has the fungus. Got it. So we will do some swaps, we will collect that information and take it back to the lab to see if it indeed has BD. BD is the scientific name for this deadly disease. Got it. So hopefully this might be the information they need to develop a vaccine of sorts for this deadly mm -hmm. disease. That is important to know, Mark, that it's not just the fungus. Also, if we lose this forest, if we could pollute this water, it doesn't matter if they have an immunity. We still have to protect the habitat where they live. Right. If the world's worst pathogen outbreak wasn't enough, the habitat of these toads and all wildlife in Latin America are under constant threat from pollution, deforestation, strip mining of wild lands, and the global climate crisis in general. The toad we found today will be highly valuable in taking one step closer to finding a cure to BD. But if we don't save the forests, rivers, and streams that make up this beautiful ecosystem, all the effort to save this species will be lost. In Jambato, we love frogs. Saving frogs is my life's work. Please consider joining the effort to save frogs from extinction with us. While it is quite possible the harlequin toad featured in this video may never be seen again in the wild, it isn't too late to support programs like Humbatu and the Adelopus Survival Initiative that are protecting and breeding these toads in captivity for re-release into the wild once the pandemic is over. Please click the donate button or the link in the description to join Brave Wilderness and Rewild.org in supporting their critical work. We must not allow these jewels of the rainforest to disappear without a fight. The time for us to save them is now.